What is up, guys? Welcome to a very special edition of Freetography's Abandoned Adventures. What makes this one so special, you ask? Well, guys, if it wasn't for the house that we're in right now, we wouldn't be watching this video. That's right, guys. My parents met at this house. Many, many years ago, a guy named Doug lived in this house, and there was a garage outside, and Doug and a guy named Terry and a guy named John used to work outside in the garage fixing motorcycles. My mom's best friend Donna had a crush on a guy named Terry. So my mom and her friend Donna, my mom just lived a few doors down from this house. My mom and Donna used to walk back and forth across this sidewalk trying to get the attention of the boys who lived inside. One of those boys was a guy named Terry. One of those boys was a guy named John. John ended up being my dad. So, as my mom says, trying to get the attention of the boys worked because she got the boy. So let's quit talking. This is going to be a fun one, guys. Cue the music. Cue the intro. I'll see you guys on the other side. So here we go, and where we are now is what is uh, clearly some kind of an add-on porch on the front of the house. This here would have been the actual front door to the house right in front of us. Would have had a window right there. And uh, so we'll take a look around at some of the stuff. And uh, oh, we've got some hockey sticks here. And then as we head on inside, here we've got a beautiful staircase. Now, whoever lived here, it doesn't look like anybody ever did any upgrading in this house, especially when you see the floors upstairs. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty rough shape. There's a piano right here in the hallway. Very strange. So anyways, as I was saying, my mom and uh, my grandma and my uncles and aunt lived just a few doors down. And my mom used to walk down back and forth to get the attention of the three boys who were outside fixing motorcycles. I believe my dad had a triumph. And uh, yeah, so that is where my mom ended up meeting my dad, was at this very house. However, the garage has been torn down. So we can't see the actual garage that they would have met in. But that's really all I know <laughs> is that my parents met at this house they ended up getting together not long after they had my brother, and then a few years later came little me. So a little bit of a freaktography history lesson in this video. There's not a whole lot to see in here, and I probably wouldn't have came in to film this house had it not been for the history of my parents meeting here. But it's okay. It is going to be torn down. The house next door and this one both have demo fence around them. So they will be torn down for who knows what. This was interesting here. A whole bunch of banana stickers over the years. And then you come on in here and there's a whole bunch of Coke cans unopened as well too with different hockey teams and, and different, uh, different types of cans from a collection, it would appear. So 
the Simpsons one. So somebody was trying to have a Coca-Cola can collection. All kinds of stuff on the floor here. Dijon mustard right there. You got a baby soother right there. All right, let's walk back through. Pretty empty. There's a wall scar here where something would have been hanging and you can see where the, uh, the, the dirt of the wall goes around whatever was hanging there. There's another one right here. All kinds of magazines on the floor here. We've got Easy Rider magazine. We've got a dog training book. We've got V Twin magazine, Harley Davidson magazines, motorcycle enthusiast magazines. All right, let's uh, let's head on upstairs. See if this piano works here first. If I can get to it. Not good, guys. Doesn't sound good. Okay, here we go. Heading on up the stairs here. Here's the floors I was talking about. Really old tile floors. Same here. picture of a little dog over here. More Easy Rider magazines, motorcycle magazines. Oh, we got him here. Nothing. Nothing, guys. Just boxes. Boxes of things, empty boxes of things. Please keep out of the fountain. Mm. Christmas paper. Hmm. You guys are gonna like the bathroom wallpaper. I'll show you this right now. Look at how dirty the wall is from people turning the light on and off over the years. So we have Winnie the Pooh wallpaper. All types of different uh, styles of Winnie the Pooh. Reading something, eating honey, eating honey, eating honey, <laughs> thinking about stuff. All the Winnie the Poohs. Got a cracked wind, got a cracked mirror here for a what is up guys. Wonder if there's anything in here. Whoa, it just goes outside. That's different. <laughs> I've never seen a bathroom mirror that just goes outside. Weird. Hmm. All right, moving on. Down the hallway here, a couple more rooms. This room's not looking good, guys. Not looking good in here. Water damage coming through the ceiling, peeling paint. They tried to save the floor by putting a tarp down, but don't think it worked, guys. Don't think it worked. This room, though, is pretty cool. It's a kid's room full of toys. Let's take a look. this
water guns. Lego. Remote control cars. PlayStation games. All kinds of stuff. Dirty walls. All right, I gotta check out and see the, the situation of the basement. So let's go see what we think about the basement, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna do this one together, okay? We got here some books. Got a tripod here. Right there, there's a tripod. Okay, let's hope these stairs uh, hold my weight, guys. Not flooded, so that's a good sign. We got some bodybuilding pictures here. Female bodybuilding. Let's have a look. They're not always the most impressive. Uh, the, they're not always the most attractive of women, female bodybuilders. <laughs> there you go. Okay. What do we got? It's so much stuff down here, guys. I don't really know where to look, so. Oof. We got a bunch of Labatt Blue stubbies down here. A whole bunch of them. So much stuff down here. So it looks like we'd have a grow room here. Definitely from growing some uh, marijuana. Okay. That's always interesting to find stuff like that. And then how ironic. Clinical drug therapy rationales for nursing practice. Huh. Hmm. All right, moving on. Still in the basement here. We got a bathroom back there. Hmm. Not much else to see down here, guys. Got a desk here on the floor. Speaker bin. Yeah, not much going on down here, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. Just a short walk through. Like I said, not the most interesting abandoned house we've ever found, but it is interesting in the fact that... If it wasn't for the fact that my mom and dad met at this house in the late 1960s, we wouldn't even be watching this video right now. So we owe a huge thanks to Doug, Terry, Donna, Kathy, and John for all having come together in this house to make my brother and me. So let's wrap it up, guys. It's cold. I got to go. You guys know what to do. Like the video. Drop me a comment, share the video, and if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, follow my channel. That's about it. Gotta go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace.